interpreter or I just preach hallelujah oh I have an interpreter praise the Lord what a powerful song that you have just heard the word of, the song says we are the light of the world uh, who works in the presidency here is there somebody who works in the presidency I'll, 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 president. president so can you imagine that we don't have any here you are working in the in, in the courts of the Most High God. We have we have a a, 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 a a prosecutor in our church. Then I ask her, if you are the messenger of the court, if you are you have to deliver a serious message, what do you do? So she she says when they deliver the message to the president. president. It should be delivered by a high-ranking official soldier who delivers that letter. A very, very high, educated, responsible, trained. He can blast the guns. He must take that letter and take to the president. Because he's a messenger. So we are the messengers of the Most High God. So can you imagine the importance of the message that we are supposed to take? So we must take it with seriousness. That is why I love the song that we are the light of the world. We are the messengers. We must take this message with seriousness, with agency, it must reach the nations in time. Yes, it must reach in time. Can you imagine when you are starving, dying, somebody has a letter that has your, your money in it. No, the, the letter must be, it's heavy money, stacked with money inside. And you are dying with poverty. You are dying with hunger. You, you are sick, you can't go to the hospital. But somebody has your, 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 your post. So it's exactly like us. If we don't deliver that message, we are holding the healing of the people. We are holding their deliverance. We are holding everything. But when now you decide not to go, Amen. So please, uh, uh, women, let us arise. There is a cost to fight. There is a cost to fight. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I have one of my daughters. She would say, you start so well, Ling Ling, then you start scolding the people. <laughs> So I'm sorry if I've started to scold you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. She says, Mama, you speak so well. But in the church, I was scold about you, scold about you. So today I'm going to scold you. I'm, I'm a military. Hallelujah. Amen. Today I'm going to scold you. Amen. I have the, 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 the weapons today. Amen. I, 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 but believe me, I will fight gently today. Amen. <laughs> but, but should I change with what I'm on military? <laughs> Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. What a privilege it is, O oh God, to be messengers in your house. What a privilege, O oh God, to have been made us the light. For that, O oh God, we are very, very grateful. Thank you to have given us the same position that Christ has. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. So Christ is the light of the nations. 
Christ he has also made us the light. So we must take this message very, very serious. So I just want to welcome our visitors. Thank you to have responded to our invitation. When we invited you to come to our women's conference. I also want to welcome our international viewers. Even also those who are viewing us through social media. And also at our church in Cape Town. Our church in UK. And all of us here in the auditorium. We want to say this is a wonderful time. We are going to enjoy ourselves. We'll come here with our guns blazing. Just want also to thank uh, Apostle Vincent for the opportunity that he has given me to share the word together with you. Because you are his flock you are not my flock I am also part of his flock so I am really really grateful so he will be taking us from this session after me throughout six in the evening. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are here till six in the evening. Let's give God a clap offering. Hallelujah. There will be lunch. It will be a light lunch. And then there will be a full dinner for all of us as we'll be going with we'll the Americans they call it to go. Amen. Uh, we have, have a takeaway. How about that takeaway? They say, What? Take oh, to go. So we'll have food to, to go home. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And, and what is nice, our, our, our men are cooking for us upstairs as we are speaking. Amen. Let's give God a clap offering for our men. Amen. So we are very grateful. Our theme, like we said, uh, it's a, is there no cost to fight? That is why I have also just a small piece. You have to show that I'm a soldier of Christ as well. If my sister was still alive, blessed, her, blessed be her memory. She, she was going to say, but she was going to say, but she was going to say, she was going to say, you make people wear green things and you come looking so bright. Yeah, she was going to tell me what you have to green, but you have green, but you have dark. You wanted to be nice alone. <laughs> so I had a, such an interesting sister. But I really wanted to be green myself. Unfortunately, the clothes that I prepared, they didn't fit me. Kamanya miti ya paruje wiki di tuishi chao rikito di ya parasi tinteka. So kigeni le nyana, the next time they will fit me. Kwa kedi chanya na mumi ling na kwe la chala ngudi tinteka. So please pardon me, don't say mama ruti na ba bright or na ridira greeny meyo bana. Praise the Lord. Now we are starting with our conference. We started last night. We, this morning, 6 a.m., we were here. I really want to thank God for the ladies who took upon themselves to come and the men who joined us. Amen. Amen. Let's read the book of Songs of Songs, chapter 2, verse 1. The word of God says, I am a rose of Sharon. The word of God says, I am a rose of Sharon. This is Jesus Christ. I am a rose of Sharon. A lily of the valleys. So here we see Christ unsurpassed beauty. 
We see our our Lord and Savior very very beautiful. Rebona Kriste ale o mo botse kudu. So as we men we are going to fight with our beauty. Eh le rena re le basadi re tlolwa le botse ba rena. We are going to fight with our femininity. Re tlolwa re tlolwa le basadi ba rena. We see here a woman who was beautiful who fought a, a, a king and killed the king. In the book of Judges 4:17 to 21. In the book of Judges 4:17 to 21. Uh, the word of God reads as follows: How about Caesarea fled away on his feet to the tent of Gia, the wife of Heba the Kenite? For there was peace between Jabin, king of Hesor, and the house of Heba the Kenite. And Jael went out to meet Caesarea and unto him, Turn in, my Lord, turn it to me, fear not. And when he had turned into her into the tent, she covered him with a mantle. Amen. I'm reading Judges 4, 17 to 21. It's fine. She will just summarize. And the word of God continues. And again, he said, uh, 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 verse 19, And he said unto her, Give me, I pray thee, a little water to drink, for I am thirsty. And she opened a bottle of milk and gave him drink and covered him. And again he said unto her, Stand in the door of the tent, and it shall be when a man doth come and inquire of thee, and say, Is there any man here? Thou shalt say, No. Then Jael, Heber's wife, took a nail of the tent, and took a hammer in her hand, and went softly unto him, and smote the nail into his temples, and fastened into the ground, for he was fast asleep and weary, so he died. So you can see here a woman killing softly. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> so we will kill the devil softly. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to kill him softly with our beauty. Because our Lord and Savior, he is beautiful. He is lovely. He is the rose of Sharon. So we are told that rose is the, it, it, it is the most beautiful flower of all the flowers. With its multi-colors. So with our multi-talents, we are going to defeat the enemy. So our beauty is seen in us obeying Christ. Our beauty is seen when we are we are living a sacrificial life. Our beauty is seen in compassionate hearts. Our beauty is seen in sacrifice. So definitely there is a cause to fight for. So we have to be loving. And our love should not be inward. A self-contained love is not love. We must be willing to lay down our lives for others. Christ laid down his life for us. And he has appointed and chosen us to lay down our lives for others as well. In the book of 1 John 3, 6, 16, In the book of 1 John 3, 16, the word of God says, By this we know love. Uh, we, by this we know love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for his brothers, for our brothers. So we must not be comfortable if you and your family are all right. You must cry for the children who are out there who are lost. I like to say this analogy, the church knows a lot, but because we are our visitors, I will say it again. If you are, you are in a boat with your children, and uh, you suffer shipwreck, 
And then the islanders come and save you. And unfortunately, your, ch- your children get lost in the sea. And you know the sea water is very, very cold. And the islanders come and put water for you, put a fire for you, give you a bowl of soup. Will you enjoy that fire? Will you enjoy that soup? You will not because why? Your children are out there in the sea. So this is how we should act and behave concerning the people who do not know Christ. You must not be comfortable. You must know that that woman, remember that the madman of Gadara. He was uh, cutting himself and crying at the same time. He was cutting himself crying. <laughs> he was not enjoying cutting himself. So a prostitute woman is not enjoying herself. After that, her soul is so bitter. As somebody who's on drugs is not enjoying that life. So it is our responsibility to come and minister to them. Because there is a cost to fight for. Apostle yesterday, he reminded us that what is a soul? So there is an importance in the soul. A soul is valueless. It is valuable. And that there's no price that you can pay to redeem a soul out of hell. Even if we can gather all the money in South Africa saying we, are, we love this person of ours, God take this money, may this person come out of hell, that cannot happen. So our beauty to fight the enemy should be seen in our love for our community. In the book of John 15 verse 13, John 15 verse 13, the word of God says, greater love has no one than this. That someone laid down his life for his friends. So we have a responsibility to snatch people from fire and come into the knowledge of the truth. Can you imagine a 10-year child drunk? In grade four. It's happening here in South Africa. The teachers know about it. So it is our responsibility to go out to the schools and preach this gospel. We must preach it where we work. That is why yesterday we had a, a, a theme of different uniforms. We say where you are working, that is your field to preach the gospel. Your, 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 your work should not, uh, uh, it's just a means to preach the gospel. The song that you have just sung saying we are the light, it is our responsibility when you arrive into a place, you light it with the gospel. So our beauty is seen in sacrifice. So we are continuing with the Sharon. Jesus Christ says, I am the lily, I, 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 I am a rose of Sharon, 
a lily of the valleys. Re a tswela pele mo gore kwa Kriste a re yena ke le tshobana la la motse wa Sharon. So we are told that Sharon is a beautiful fertile place. Re a kwa gore pleke motse o wa Sharon ke pleke e motse e e bunang di Kenya. It's it's a it's a valley where all different rose grows. Ke mo mona ge nye long gore e gona go di di machuba a bo papa fapana a gona go mela gona and sharon is a place of fertility sharon ke pleke ya go tswala where they all the heads they come together and mate and the reproduction mo e long gore ge ba di 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 khoshi di tlakana go ba le tswelo pele so if we are christ we must also be fertile ge re le wa christ le rena tshwantse re be le di enyo we must be productive o tshwane tshe o tshwele We must be fruitful. We must have the disciples. We must not come to church alone and you are okay. So Jesus Christ in the book of John 15 verse 16. He says he has called us to be fruitful. He says you did not choose me. But I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. So Christ says go and bear fruit. Go and bear fruit. So if we are uh, 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 we, 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 are, we are saying we are abiding in Christ. We should go and buy bear fruit. Re tshwanetse go tswa le go tswa re o enya di ke. And he further says that your fruit should abide and whatever you ask the Father in my name he will give it to you. Go re se ka se ke na o se le ka se go se gopela tate a le fe sona. I've got a testimony. Ke na le bopaki. Every time I go share the gospel in the streets, ge ke itsa ge ke tswa ke o ga shefang khedi. God meets my needs. Mudimo of when I need something I just go to the street and grab the souls and tell them about the love of Jesus. Ke ke nyaka se seng ke do tswa ka yo nyaka ka botsa motho ka sharela motho ka lentjila mudimo. So if you need your prayers to be answered go and bear fruit. Ge o nyaka gore di thapele tsa go di arabi we sepela wo ga shefang ge. Go and tell your neighbor about Christ. Sepela wo botsa magishano ga go ka Christ. So do you see that your your prayers are are and answered because you are you are maintaining your con Tani this a, a gift in you do wa bona gore di tshapele tsa go ga di arabi u ka le ba ka la re u dutsi ka le rato le la modimo mo go wena so let us go and be fruitful a re tsipileng gore re gona o ba le di fruit in this book of songs of solomon mo bukeng ye ya songs of solomon i didn't quote it here it just come to my mind amen asike lokele mo eh this a uh, 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 in chakela for pastor b a heap of wheat Solomon is talking about this woman that she loved she says your 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 waist is like a heap of wheat Amen Solomon ga tlhalosa msadi ga go o re o tswana le heap o tswana le le moto go re this woman and I know need can you imagine dimpa tsa msadi yo she was fat she was curvaceous have you seen a heap of wheat Solomon ga ba tlhalosa msadi ga go o ba non ne o ka re ke motho wa 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 mabele yes he says your navel is a rounded goblet it lacks no blended beverage your waist is a heap of wheat set about with lilies amen hallelujah i don't you know what does this heap of wheat means na la tse ba gore heap of wheat ye ra gore regardless that the woman was big go se netse ba gore mosadi o e be ilo go lwa no the woman was fruitful The woman was fruitful. When she goes to work at the field she will have a a I can to matsela a a ra reka nga a Zimbabwe you know it I can say it's katanga or whatever. What, what do they call it? Tanga not katanga. <laughs> the woman will take me uh, 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 what is it uh, more for maize. Wow stack wow stack wow stack. The woman ha ya ha ya o he is like a heap of wheat o stakile o stakile she is fruitful msadi o ga ba ile ko mashimo go ba tshi ya mae so will you not be laughed to out is that jo mo ga e he he waste was this big because of fruitfulness 
So when Christ not love you, when the souls, the souls, will Christ not love you? He's going to love you you don't come alone to church or twerry or twerry or twerry or twerry. Hallelujah. He will love you. This was the most loved women of all the thousand women that she had. She loved this one most. So, oh my wife, you, 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 are, you are like a lily. Lily here talks about a, a white lily. Talks about a purity. Yes, purity, pure. So he is, she is very fruitful. She's bringing the children to church. She's winning souls. She's consolidating. She does not give herself rest. So you must terrorize our community. We have a church in Cape Town. When we started, we, we came to a place where there is a, a, a it was a, a bar of men. And they were betting horses as well. And they were big, they were big, they were tall. I would not tell which nationality, but it was a nationality of tall and big men. And, and they, they, would, they would boast with their, their, their chest, their muscles. Good, they were big. <laughs> and our pastor is this short. <laughs> and, 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 and very thin. So she, she, she was terrified about all these men and our place was full of men. So when we do uh, outreach, I, I, I will just walk on the balcony. We, our church is on the balcony. Targeting this man, I will be on this man. I will be on the, I was not afraid of them. I will share to them, I will share to them, they, they knew me. You see, I love uh, bright colors. So one day it was winter, I had a bright color. And, and they are full in the balcony again, terrorizing, you know, drinking, and they are full on the balcony. When I parked my car, I came out with a green jacket. <laughs> so they could, they could identify me from far. I, I see them all over that balcony because there were 10 or 12 men. I came out of the car. I closed the door. When I go to the stairs to our church, when I lift my head, they all disappeared into their cubicles. <laughs> They, they all disappear. They disappear. They say, Amen. They disappeared. So do you see that the word of God started to torment them? The word of God started to, to give conscience to them. And by the grace of God, we are, we are Shebin Bastards. Emmanuel Christian Church is known for Shebin Bastarding. Amen. Emmanuel Christian Church is known for Shebin as I speak, that that that, that uh, Shebin was closed. In a month or two, it was closed and, and taken off. Amen. So we must go and bear fruit. We are the light of the world. People are cutting themselves. They are not enjoying what they are doing. We are our savior. We are the savior of the people. We must go and bring them out. So Christ further says he is the lily of Belis. And Christ and lily signifies purity. So we are going to contend for our families with purity. We are going to contend for our families with purity. So purity should be our clothing. Yes, purity should be our clothing. Some years ago, I think it's almost 30 years ago, 
I think it's 31 years because even Kathy was not born. 31 years ago, I was working in a company. This company was full of adultery. Adultery and fornication. And it was a small company of 80 people. Then when I came into the company, the chief boss, which was an adulterer, he was even the chief head in the company and the chief adulterer. When I arrived, she says, I can just see what type of a person you are. Just with clothing, just with clothing, put on purity. So people should see that you are a woman of God, you are a woman of substance, you are not like them. So you must content with your beauty and purity. You must uh, Tell the people, when I do clothes for myself, I said, I don't want a low neck, I want a high neck, I don't want a cleavage. I tell them, I dictate what I want. And then when we are celebrating our 20th anniversary, I told the, the, the stylist who was doing a dress for me, I said, I don't want low neck, please, and I don't want cleavage. See, you didn't take me serious. My dress was bluish. When it came the night of the wedding, there's a big cleavage. I just went and took any white color and closed it. <laughs> he, when he came, he was terrified. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I, said, I told you I don't want uh, any cleavage. I took it. It was like uh, la, 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 la. this one, not chiffon. Any white, I say, I want white, I, I'm going to close it, I don't care if it's matching, it's not matching, I don't want this, I told you. So he had to run around, oh, but like white chiffon, I to come and sew and make it right. I said, I'm not going to take that. So you must be a, a, a woman of lilies, fight with, fight with purity. We are living in a space of moral decay. Where sex is free. So you must fight for your purity. You must not defile your marriage bed. Hebrews 13, 20 says, uh, God will judge everyone who defiles that bed. So it should be known as young people you should bring virginity back into fashion. Yes, you must not say a uh, no, no, you, you must bring it back to fashion. I went to preach in one school. Children as early uh, 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 in primary area. Banaba Ubalimo primary. So the teacher said, uh, the, actually, it was the principal. He said, We ask which children have gone to church this Sunday. He says when he asked uh, only two children in a class of like 50 stood up. And then he says the rest laughed and mocked these two who went to church. So can you see that there is a cost to fight? One teacher here in the church, also a great, uh, great four, four, four people, which is a, a standard two child, so also did not come to church, I mean to school. She said uh, uh, it's in our community, it's in our village school, so she asked this child, where were you yesterday? The child of 10 years says, I went for family planning. 
Wano wa mengwa wa mengwa ke ele sumu o moja re be ke ile go leba go lo tsa tsibela peleng a re be ke ile o tsibela peleng so it is our responsibility to raise our children our community in the right way re tshwanetse go yemelela go rudisha le motse wa rena ka ka lentjula modimo so this gospel will teach the children to be pure lentjule la modimo le tlo thusha bana ba gore ba dule ba tlhokile it will teach families to be pure e tlo ba thusha gore ba dule ba tlhokile we must preach this gospel re tshwanetse go rara lentjule eh christ is coming for a church without blemish Christ wo yetla o tlala kreke ye se nembosodi in the book of first peter 1 18 to 19 mo bugenya first peter the word of god says knowing that you are ransomed with the uh, from the futile ways inherited from your forefathers and not with perishable things such as silver or gold but with precious blood of christ like that of a lamb without blemish or spot amen go bane le atse ba gore le lokolotsi byang bi tswaro mbiolo bya lena bo go sibele ba bele ba mo ba go tlhoka mogola so so christ come for a spotless church that is holy christ o yetla o boela putsa go ye seneng le batse some also almost i think is 26 years ago when they introduced this lo in classes i have teachers here hallelujah they will forgive me Amen. they they introduce life orientation eh eh ka ba mengwa ga e fitile mola ne ba 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 introduce life orientation so my children were still in primary school bana ba ka ba sa le ko primary so they told us that they will they they call parents that we are introducing this new subject lo ba ba re tlhalose tsa re le batswa di gore ba tlo thoma subject e ntshwa ba e bitsang lo eh is gonna do with sexuality and all that e tlo bolela ka di thobalana So it's part of yeah it's part of it so they were telling me it was in a a a, a, a multiracial school be ban tlhalosetsa gona mo sekolong se sa multiracial and it was predominantly white school e bontshi ba bana ba ne ba tsena be ile magoa this one who went for family planning was a black child o a ba ile go thibela pele ge be ile ngwana mosodi now this time it was a white school i, I went there e mo jale mo ke go sekolong sa bana ba magoa ke ile so the the teacher said uh, we will We are teaching children this LO because ch- our children here in school the primary they are sexually active. Eh muruti shwa tlhalosa gore re tshwantse rute ka thobalana ka re bana ba bontse ba le gona mo primary ba robalana. I'm talking about some 26 years ago. Ke bolela ka taba ya mengwa ga 26 years ago. I don't know now what is happening in school. I get bore go ntshele go di bolong go dilo. But after covid more than 20,000 pupils were pregnant. E fela ratse ba hore ka morao ga covid bana ba bantshile ba ba pregnant. So we must teach purity that it's fashionable to be pure and holy. Re tshwanetse gore re rute taba gore go tlhoka kin twe botsi bile mo fashioning then I, i i challenged this teacher 26 years ago i said why don't you teach children purity in the church that sex before marriage is sin kar mo ba muruti sho kar go reng le sa ruti go tlhweka gore thobalano pele ga o lenyalwa ya dumelle he says do you want me to be fired from school a ronya go ke go bua mmere go he says that the children in the school they are led by single parents are bana ba ba le moskolo mbuntshi ba bana ba gudisha ke ba tswa ba and their parents have got boyfriends and ba tswa di ba bo ma bana ba na le di boyfriend so when they tell you you are 10 year old or tlo botsa mama mama you are not married what what will happen the teacher will come to the mother will come to school and say what are you teaching my child ga se tshe ngwana wa tshane ya sa botsa mama gore mama a se nya a luisa ka boyfriend a se gona ke kubile mmere ko so it is the responsibility it's uh, it's us Jale mai ka ba lo ke re na. Why are they children where are they going to chase me? Ga ke ga ke ga ke rutsa bana ba ke le moruti bana ba ba tlo ngobela ka ina. So you do see that you can go and get the young children. O ka sepela wa gona go kre ya bana ba ba nyane ba. Wa ba ruta le ntshila modimo. Bless our church in a uh, uh, light of life in Sekhwailane. Eh kra ke rena go Sekhwailane. Today they wanted to bring 80 children 80 80 Ne banya go tlisha bana ba ba 80 So two buses could have come from from Sekhwailane Di bus tsa peding ke ba di tlile di tswa Sekhwailane Then I said no 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 please uh, cut the children and our company manners must not come uh, because now this is women's conference mar go tla children 
Eh, rabar seceri lugi cawu rawa aru fuku ceng nomor ya bana baka urki ke konferensi abu memara uta bana. So do you see that they, they, we have an opportunity to impregnate, impregnate the children with the word of God. Le abana gore na le monye ta le suba ka sa wui mi sha bana baka lin chula budi. So can you imagine when Pastor Daphne pours her heart to this 80 children, we are going to have 80 pure children. Le abana gore seceri Pastor Daphne a seceri. In Midrand, we've got 150 children. So there is hope for our future. But God depends on you and me. But if you are going to play double standard and you don't speak the word of God, you are the you are destroying the nation of God. Apostle shared to us last night the book of Genesis chapter 18 and 19. Verse 18 to 19. Verse 18 to 19. When God spoke about Abraham, he says, I know Abraham. I know Abraham. What King James Version says, I know Abraham. Uh, he will be, yes, this one says, I know him. This one, he be like, God speaks in, in, in future, says, I, I have known Abraham. That he will command his children and his household after me. Then they keep the way of the Lord. To do righteousness and justice. That the Lord may bring Abraham what he has spoken to him. So Abraham to be a father of many blessings, a father of blessings, a rich man be loved by God. God blessed him based on this one. He says, Abraham, Abraham will teach my children. He will teach his children. He will command his children to walk in the ways of the Lord. So you, you see where your blessing lies. To raise these children in the fear of God. To be holy as God is. Because God is coming for a church without wrinkles. He comes to a church without spots. A church without wrinkles means simply means a church of a, a youthfulness. Have you seen a, 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 a bride which is with many wrinkles? There is no such a bride. Hallelujah. Amen. A, a bride is young, it's beautiful. We we are doing all this to be because we want to be young. So Christ is coming for a church that is full of jovialness. Yes, it should be jovial, it should be happy. You must not come to church. You must be jovial, you must love, you must be happy. When you come here, you must come running. David says, I was glad when they say, let's go to the house of the Lord. So you, 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 must, you must make a gospel fashionable. I, I thank God that uh, our singers have changed. Uh, they are they, in the old days when they sing, they will frown, they will frown and frown and be ugly. But <laughs> I would I will not like this thing. Oh, who, who's gonna love to be? It's like it's painful. Who's going to love this thing to, to get into a thing and painful? Me, I will not. So you must be happy, 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 happy. And 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 you must be beautiful, you must sing with smile. 
shine with joy with beauty that is the jovialness that the lord wants from us he does not want us to be wrinkled too difficult to change he wants a power steering wife hallelujah amen a wife which is not difficult Christ is coming for a church which without spot and wrinkles. He's not coming for a church that is tainted with worldliness. Yes, we must say uh, detach ourselves. Apostle spoke there some years ago about the message of detachment. Our goal and our desire should be the Lord. And he will add all these other things to us. We know the story of Solomon. We are just asking for wisdom to lead the people. God says, I will give you a peace and I will give you money over and above. So God knows what we need. All we need is to seek his kingdom first and, and uh, share the gospel and we'll see him uh, coming for our lives. So we are we are a church we are the bride of Christ without spot and wrinkles. We must be the bride that has been washed with frankincense and myrrh. This spice may it's a bitter herb. That's another matter. So you must be able to sacrifice. You must understand that Esther, when she was called, she was called for six months, she bathed with sweet spices like uh, frankincense, and another six months, she bathed with bitter herbs. So this man simply means we must be a bride that understands sacrifice and self-control. So we must come out of debt, hallelujah. Apostle speaks a lot about self-control, about loans and so forth. So as women, we must fight this battle of uh, being too much indebted so that we, 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 we can win our world. So Christ is coming for a church that has self-control. Hallelujah. We must leave our habitual sins and conform into his standards. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we are continuing. I think I'll take the last point. Uh, let's continue. Amen. Here Christ compares himself with a rose. He says uh, that the scripture that we read, we open with, I am a rose of Sharon, a lily of Belis. So he compares himself with a, 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 a tender, a timid flower. Why is he comparing himself? He says we must be like a flower, we must be like a lily. Those are fragile flowers. Because we must be humble. We will win through humility. We are changing with our humility. Philippians 2, 6 to 8. The word of God says, Though Christ was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. But he humbled himself. 
taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. So humility is our key. If you are going to contend with Goliath, we'll kill him with our humility. If, if David was not humble, if he was proud, he could have missed his destiny. When his brother Eliab was scolding him, because if he was not humble, he was going to talk back and they were going to bundle him and take him back to, to, to their but sheep. But he was humble. So some offenses we are going to ignore. Some offenses you will have to ignore. You must be humble. We win through humility. So there is a cost to fight. A humble person will go and do soul winning. But if you are too proud, you cannot go on street and do house to house verses. Your, your status is too big. If you are too proud, you cannot go and do telepastering. If you are too proud, you cannot go do one on one. So we have to put on this humility. In the book of the one gentleman he wrote the final quest, he speaks about clothing of humility. No, it's a book in a, 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 a final quest. This guy says humility is the best clothing in heaven. That uh, when you when, when uh, Christ had this, this angel had a uh, drab, drabby clothes of humility. The doors were just open like this. The the doors were just open. Like so humility is the greatest weapon that we can have to win the world, to win the giants. We go go be joke. See, we just so all the circus we reckon shall go fetch the fast. And then uh, lastly, uh, what uh, 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 this rose of Sharon was just in a in a plane it was not res, uh, uh, restricted and it was not uh, uh, closed in a garden so it means as Christians, Christ is accessible in, and is unrestricted. So we must also be accessible. We must be available. We must be approachable. Children need help. People need help. Your colleagues need help. They must be able to call you to the corner and say, please pray with me. People must be willing to confide in you and you are not taking out their secrets. People must be willing to confide in you and you are not taking out their secrets. So there was a person who was in deep trouble. She came to our church. She came to our church. So I ask her, why did not did you not tell your Mamo Ruti this deep problem that you have because it was a serious problem? So when she answered, I was shocked. She said, Mamo Ruti is immature. Yo. She's going to take my case and take, tell everybody about it. It was painful. So you must never, never be viewed as somebody immature. People secrets, they must be safe with you. You must be accessible. You must be accessible. You must be accessible. So it is interesting that you have to be a loyal person. Uh, in uh, uh, Apostle, four years ago in the UK, shared this powerful message which I'm closing with. 
Eh uh, apostle Lily a share a message you all go UK mingware mena ya go feta. Say your relationship is going to be tested. Are di ke ka mona tsa ga go ditlolikiwa. So as we as women of God our relationship is going to be tested by time. Ge re le basadi di ka mona tsa rena ditlolikiwa ke nako. Tested by distance. Ditlolikiwa ke distance ma filo. And tested by money. Da da likiwa le ka challenge. So we want to thank God for members in this church. We have members who have stood the test of time. Re ya le bonga gore ka mokreke nya rena le maloko a ileng gore a yeme nako e tselele. They been they, they they are loyal, they been stable, they stick to us for many years. Ba yeme ba khotlelela nako e tselele ba sa chikin chikisele. Even our UK families in the past two years of covid they stood the test of time. Le ba sa di ba ko UK ba yeme ba yemalana nako e. And all the other all our church members in UK they stood the test of time. Le banna ba bang ba gona ko UK ba yeme ba yemalekrek. They we were separated by distance but they stood. Very well how one chiche ke distance fela ke mafelo e fela ba ye. In South Africa because of lockdown people stood. Le ka mo gona mo South Africa ka nako ya lockdown ba thile ba yemalekrek. So you must be a reliable person. O tshwantse be motho wa maikarabelo. You must be accessible. O tshwantse go na o humane. Money should not separate you from serving the Lord. Tsheletsa ya tsona go ga o gantsha le go tlhankela modimo. Because uh, uh, here in the church we will say we want your money. Ka gore mo kreke re nna re tlo re nya gore tlhoka challenge ya gago. What are the 3Ts the my children's church by it ka ba botsa gore my children what are the three Ts? they will tell me it's we, we want your tithe re nya kana go ya gago we want your tithe re nya ka le ka rola ga go le time re nya ka le nako ya gago we want your talent re nya ka le talent ya gago so we want all of you re re go nya ka ka mo kana ga gago you are going to we are going to serve the lord if you are going to serve the lord we will have to serve him with our money re re tlo tlhankela modimo re tlo mo tlhankela ka di chelti ja re must defy satan and say we will serve the lord re tshwantse re fenya satan re mo tsa re nna re tlo tlhankela modimo we must be like that woman of a a a a the alabaster woman mary who 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 gave to an extent that the uh, men were jealous of her generosity re tshwantse gore re tshone le mary wo ileng wo ileng gore monelo wa ile wa dira gore le bana ba be le mona yeah the disciples of jesus says what a waste what a waste what a waste ba rutu ya ba morena jesus ba re tsenyo e ka 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 So if we are going to win we have to win with our money in building the kingdom of God. Ga re tlo fenya re tshwantse re fenya ka le ka ba ka dichelte tsa rena re fenya re fenya tsa ntjula modimo. Sapa because you are withholding your money. Le ntjula modimo ala tsona go kereke ya tsona go sokola ka le ba ka la re wena o tshori challenge. You must put on humility. Put on selflessness. Romans 13:13 to 14. Romans 13 13 to 14 chapter 13 Amen. 13 to 14 says let us walk properly as in daytime not in orgies and drunkenness not in Amen. Rotsontse re ya pare e di ya pare tsa Christ so that you don't make provision for the flesh. Go reska dumela na ma ire fenya. Eh the the dress is got seams, it's got seams. Eh roko di roko di na le meruko. So the seam of your flesh must not burst. Eh moroko wa mmelo wa gago wa tsona o phatlala. Yeah, you must when you have put Christ You must contain your flesh you must contain your temper you must contain your anger Re o a pere go ba ya Christ o tlo gona o laola maikutlo a go tlo gona o laola ka mogo o kwatsang ka gona le polelo ya gago Yeah the seam of your flesh must never burst Moroko wa mmelo wa gago wa tshwana go phatlalana So in closure ga re tswalela I'm going to invite you to receive Christ as a Lord and Savior. Kitlo go mema gore wa mogela Jesus Christ ta jole ka morena le mopolisi wa gago. Because one day we are going to be transplanted. This rose is going to be transplanted into our eternal abode. Ka gore tshile leng e re tlo re tlo bialwa gape e le tshoba le le tlo tshiwa tshile leng la bialwa go na ge nyengwe. Christ is going to gather us. Christ o tlo re wetsa. So if you are here and you do not know Christ as your Lord and Savior, Christ no. wants to be this beautiful rose that you will one day gather. 
ge o le mo o sa tsebe Christ jale ka morana le mo phulushi wa gao o tshwana le le tshoba le tlo tshei wa tja dilelengwe a music group you can come you can sing that song eh uh, us mahalia uh, well, that song oh she's here that other one of soul we hear eh uh, that 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 song i i, I love it Okay, give me the one that you remember. You are here in our midst. You do not know Christ as our Lord and Savior. You are precious to the Lord. He wants to smell you. He, lo- he loved you while you were still dead in your sin. This is the day for you that you can be redeemed. One day we are going to be gathered. Will you be a rose that is uh, 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 has shrunk? Will be a rose that is bubbly and beautiful. I want to say with your hand showing Who say Lord I want to be a rose that is beautiful. Lord I want to receive you as my Lord and Savior. You are here you do not know Christ as your Lord and Savior. You are invited. They say come it's women's month let's come to church. You came here you did not receive you have never confessed with your own mouth to say yes lord come into my life o mutlomo o memilwe ke mathomo o itla bo ba o biditse fela ba re are women's conference a singe wa mo gele jesus christ jale ka morana le mo pulishwa ga can i see you with a showing of hands nda go bona o ka no phagamisha le go la ga o god wants to use mightily mudimo o nya ka go berekisha wa go be the savior of your neighbors mudimo o nya ka go berekisha go rube the savior at your workplace o be mo pulishi mushumo wa go where you go This is your Can I see with a show of hands? Can we get a song? to say thank you that through this mercy seat we have been forgiven we've been washed we want to say thank you for your love oh god papa lukile i pray may this word that we have heard may it never leave us in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen